tell us about this, this, this campaign that you're helping to launch? I mean, um, to be part of this campaign, it's, 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 it's a huge thing and we just want to raise awareness of having the defibrillator put in every public place as possible, starting from Bolton. And uh, we're trying to make it you know, available to pubs and restaurants and be able also people being trained to be able to have so save somebody like they saved my life as well. So that's the whole point of having this campaign. Well, like you say, this is a, a campaign that's clearly close to you as well. Yeah. So, I mean, how important is it? No, it is very important because, as I said, you know, there's people who's there at the stadium, the right place at the right time, but also we're trained to be able to use this machine. So we're trying to make sure this machine is available in every public place and then hopefully we'll save some people's life. You mentioned public places. What kind of areas do you want we're to see? We're looking around in like restaurants and pubs and uh, where, you know, where people watch football and like works and everything else. So every public place you can think of, we're trying to make sure it's available, train station, every place. We want to make sure people, somebody in there will be able to use it when the time's right and when the time is needed to. I suppose, do people come up to you and talk, I suppose, about your own personal experiences but now? But but do you, have you been contacted by more people who've yes, been affected there, by there, this There's as people well? who's got defibrillator before me and they will get in touch with me and talk about the story which is great which is also you know to see our people who survive it is great it also shows you know that this kind of stuff we can do and I'm just grateful that I was part of this and I want to be part of it. If we just briefly talk about yourself how, how are you going at the moment I believe you had a little bit of a uh, you, you mentioned you had a shock the, uh, the other yeah, few um, months ago. The shock was I was told to expect it because you know when I had the surgery done it kicked in about um, Professor Chilean told me that you know expect the shock at some point, you know, in the near future, which it happened, and uh, it just it showed me it's working. So you know, I'm, I'm, I've been in good hands since I came out. I was in hospital, and everything has been working perfectly. And the, sh the shock is just, um, you know, it's insurance that everything is in the right place at the right time. What was that like when you had that? It, it's a whole, it, it's a very, it's a, like a, having a powerful electric shock. Everything inside you just stopped, and you have to take your time for a second, and then. Uh, wait and then, then you go back to your normality again. What were you doing at the time? No, I was just at home, I was just sitting on the sofa and it just kicked in, you know, so um, I had to just hold the window and I hold the, the, the wall for a second because it was really, 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 really big shock, so um, but apart from that, it's okay. And like you say, the doctors have, have kind of said to you, this this could happen now but yeah, for no, the next they, 10 they, years, but then no, hopefully. They, they told me the first shock would happen, but I don't know, when, when the next time happened, just make sure you give us a call, but this was, was expected already, so I'm glad it happened as well. And now you know what to expect as yeah, well. Yeah, now I know what to say, which is not really nice enough, put it that way. But as I said, I, I, I've been in great hands since I came out of hospital and uh, everything's been working perfectly.